So here's the Sopwith Camel, ready for Maiden. This is built out of foam core, the wings, the main fuselage, most of the tail except for the elevator. And the rest, well, I should say, like the struts, the landing gear, the front of the fuselage, the cowl, the motor, fascia, these are all 3D printed in PLA. Uh, they're a little thick because I'm trying to make it somewhat durable. The decals were done with printing out on sticker paper out of my printer and then making them color fast with some paint. It turned out pretty, pretty square. Really nice. bottom. So I did well, probably the most major compromise is this cowl. Um, I extended it by 5 eighths of an inch or 16 millimeters uh, so I could fit my battery up here. I'm only using an 850 battery uh, because that's a <laughs> fit uh, so my flight times are not going to be long. But um, it balances out and which is my biggest concern. Well, she's ready for Maiden. And we've got some nice days coming up, so hopefully it won't be soon or won't be too long. Here we are with the Sopwith Camel maiden flight. It's a nice morning for it. Let's try this. All right, Kevin, I'm gonna you're gonna throw it for me, aren't you? Yep. Tail heavy can go pretty badly. I can try to taxi it. I'll probably crash it. <laughs> crash it on the taxi. I don't know. Up, 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 up. It's got. Okay, I'm just taxiing a little bit. <laughs> taxi. You know, I think it just needs a little down trim. Not a lot of power. Definitely not tail heavy. Beautiful. Up, 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 up. It's got... Okay, I'm just taxiing a little bit. <laughs> Taxi. You know, I think it just needs a little down trim. Not a lot of power. Definitely not tail heavy. Beautiful. It does look good up there. Yeah, remember it's not a speed demon. No. For sure. It's 3S. Let's try a roll. Oh, that's a slow roll. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a twister. Yeah. All right. I haven't trimmed it at all. Seems to be okay trim. Thinking like a little down. All right, 
Let's try it. That's pretty good looking. It does. I'm going to do a flyby here. Low. Slow it down a little bit. That is all the throttle I got. Yeah. It does not take off for sure. Okay, I'm gonna bring her in. Her landing? Yep. Oh, I guess I got a little bit more, don't I? Yeah. I don't know. Oh yeah, we got that thing on the field too, don't we? You get your clear right through here, right in front. Yeah. Short grass. Okay, I'm bring. I'm gonna bring her in because I have a small battery and I don't know how. It's just an 850. Ah! I could have had it. Yeah. You... I should have just gone with the first. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think so. Wow, that, yeah, I don't know. I could put 4S in here, which I think I'm going to have to do. But I think, I don't think we've got any damage. Mm -hmm. And that cowl didn't go shaking. It's just on there with magnets. So that's pretty nice. So the design process starts by importing a PDF file into the I use on shape and then I can outline it with just lines so I'm really sketching on top of the um, plan and then uh, I'd scaled by uh, just picking a distance for example here from the firewall to the front of the motor as an example picking that distance and saying all right this is this is the scale and everything else will scale to that then i do the same for the top view pull the pieces off of that and then i do the same for a front view Well, this nice weather has inspired me to finish up my sop with camel. We're about ready for final assembly. I've got servos, push rods installed. Not sure about the elevator. I used DocuLam over a printed structure because I wanted to. I wanted to have a very thin you know, invisible, I used a music wire um, hinge there. And the other thing I haven't done is the, um, the cowl. I haven't glued the cowl together because I may end up ext extending it. It's a very short nose on the top of the camel because of the um, inline engine that it used. Um, so, a lot of work so far, but now I just got to get 
get it all put together. Done a pre uh, dry assembly and everything looked good. So now it's time to get get it finished up.